Hi, hello, and good afternoon. My name is Amanda, and welcome to The Done Creative. For today's reading, we're going to be asking, what is it that needs healing in my life? And this could be something physical, emotional, mental, spiritual. We'll just see what comes up. So, if you're new to pick a card readings, pick the pile or piles that your intuition or your gut is calling you toward not the one that's your favorite number or the one that your eyes are most attracted to. And just remember that this is a general reading, so if the message doesn't resonate, you can either pick another pile, click off the video, or just let the information settle for a while. After you've picked your pile, go ahead and check the description box below for the timestamp to go directly to your reading. I wanted to say a quick thank you to those who have commented or private messaged me about the different readings that I've done. I really do appreciate your feedback. It really helps me tailor these readings to what it is that you guys are looking for. And it lets me know that these messages aren't just falling on deaf ears. So thank you so much for that. I really do appreciate it. And if you want to keep up with me between readings, you can find me over on Instagram at the done creative, all one word. I try to answer as many comments over there as I get. So thank you so much and Without further ado, let's get right into the reading. Okay, pile number one. What is it that you need to heal in your life right now? So one of the standout things about this group is I see some of you are in recovery or have recently started recovery for an addiction. This could be something as simple as like a coffee addiction, but in other cases it could be alcohol, drugs, sex, whatever it is that resonates for you. Even social media can become an addiction if we aren't conscious of how much time that we're spending on there and the reasons that we are on there. If we just get bored and go default, oh, let me check my Facebook real quick, that's kind of an addiction. I feel this message is for a lot of you about social media and feeling really powerless or judgmental of other people because of what it is they're doing or what it appears like they're doing on Facebook or social media. This reflection and non-judgment card is just really asking you to get in contact with your inner self and release the judgments of other people and just really reflect on what it is in these other people's lives that is making you jealous. Because we don't envy things just to envy things. There's something within us that is desiring those things and when we feel like someone else has them and we don't we just have this lack mentality and you could really benefit by finding that inner power and realizing that it's okay to feel jealous of other people because it's really calling on something within ourselves that needs to be addressed or healed or explored even and don't feel guilty about feeling these negative feelings toward people on social media it's very normal, I think, for people, especially in today's society, where people are displaying the really good parts of their lives, but of course, most of the time leaving out all the bad things that are going on. We're comparing our lives to their highlight reel, and that can be really toxic for our inner environment. So even if you had to take a step away from social media for even a couple of days, it can really benefit. I've been doing it a lot lately, actually. I took the whole month of April off of Facebook and I came back and I almost feel like I don't even wanna go back because there is a lot of negativity on my newsfeed, but you know, for most of us, it, it is beneficial to step away and really get in touch with why you have these yucky feelings and why things feel the way they do for you. And a lot of you, are needing to forgive somebody in your life to really start this healing process within yourself. And it may even be that you need to forgive yourself. A lot of us, we take every little thing that we've ever done wrong or messed up on, and we just 
harbor that and let it build and build and build until we just really a lot of times hate ourselves or talk negatively to ourselves and we don't need that if you can when you're doing these things observe that and just watch it and don't attach to these feelings you would really benefit so forgive yourself or this other person that you're jealous of or someone that you've recently broken up with or just a family member that's not listening to your side of things. I think um, some of this can even go as deep-seated as childhood or past life stuff that's just interfering in your life. If you can release these things and let them go, you can really start to fly and the things that you've always wanted to do in your life are really going to start coming to the forefront and being seen so that you can start implementing some of these cool things into your life and then you have the grounding card with this obsidian here a lot of you are just so in your heads and you would really benefit from getting out in nature and especially if you can walk around barefoot just put your feet your bare feet on the grass in the dirt in the mud in the sand wherever you're at and just picture like there's these roots growing from your feet down into the earth and you can really benefit because we as human beings we weren't meant to wear shoes all the time and socks and be indoors we we were meant to live really close to nature and the animals and the earth itself and we really separated ourselves from that so you would really benefit to get back to your roots no pun intended and just get out there and do some grounding you can even Google grounding techniques, earthing. You would really benefit from that. It would really help you on this path to healing. And also sunlight. Get out in sunlight. You know, be smart about it. Don't wear your run-of-the-mill commercial sunscreens because they're just full of toxins. But there are a lot of organic or even homemade recipes like carrot seed oil and carrot oil are really good um, natural sunscreen alternatives and coming from a redhead who becomes a vampire in the summer I yeah I, I know what I'm talking about here um, but you could really benefit from that good dose of vitamin D just be again be smart about it don't go out in the midday sun and be out there for hours and expect not to burn you know really early in the morning and late in the evening what they call a golden hour that hour before sunset is a really good time to get out and just let the sun touch your skin and it will really refuel you and recharge you and they do say that if you do some sunbathing and stuff if you get in the shower or bath right away it washes that vitamin D off so if you can help it let that stay on your skin for 24 hours without applying any lotions or washing it off with a shower or something and I see a lot of you here. This here says observe your conversations. And this lady is kind of looking dejected and, and even lonely. Because it's like observe your conversations but there's really nobody around her. And usually when you're having a cup of coffee, you're either really thinking about things or you're having coffee with a friend. I think there's a lot to be healed here with the way you talk to other people. And then again, even yourself with this inner power. You don't talk to yourself the greatest, and sometimes the way that you talk to people, you don't mean to be rude or come off sharp or abrasive, but sometimes I think that people take your words and the way you say these words a little more harshly than you mean them. So just really be careful with what you say and how you say it, and then even just the tone of the voice that you use when you say these things could really benefit you. And then here it says pay attention to your dreams. So I think a lot of a lot of us do heal when we're sleeping. That's when our bodies aren't busy doing all these other things, you know, keeping us moving and digesting food and stuff. It's actually working to repair ourselves and flush out toxins like when we sweat in our sleep and then when you wake up in the morning with that like white film on your mouth and the whole morning breath thing that is your body releasing toxins so and even also too when we're dreaming when we're in the astral realm we're working out problems you know you 
you dream about someone cheating on you or going to school naked and, and it's just you wake up and you're horrified at these crazy dreams you're having but what is actually happening is your subconscious is playing out these scenarios and healing things while you sleep so you don't have to actually have these scenarios in real life I don't know if that makes any sense but your dream time is really a time you can tap into this inner well your subconscious the Akashic records and really do some healing work so if you can keep a dream journal because if over time you can track you can track you know themes and patterns and re repetitions that are coming up in these dreams and yeah I, I keep coming back to these two cards a recovery and this lady in the mirror the reflection and non-judgment I think a lot of you are having some self-worth issues and just know that you're not alone and you know these two kind of go hand in hand it's because of these self-worth issues that you are having these addictions or looking for this validation outside of yourself and if you can if you are recovering you know drug addict alcoholic whatever the case may be if you can reach out to people who've been there and who are in recovery if you're not in recovery it would also benefit but reach out to people who have been there, done that, and, and can speak from experience because you can really benefit from these mentor-type relationships in your life. And yeah, that's pretty much all I'm getting. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and pick from my treasure box. And I'll just close my eyes and see what we get. Celebration. Okay, we got that recently in another video, but I think for you, on your path to healing, don't always focus on, you know, all the mistakes you've made and all these horrible things that you feel are inside of you. Really celebrate the progress that you've made, especially like if you are in recovery and have really been through it and are on the other side of that now. You really are strong old souls that can get through all of this heavy stuff that I think you guys have been through in this life. So even if you do something that most people would think would be small, don't be afraid to celebrate that and just celebrate yourself because you, you guys are worth it and you guys are awesome. You should live your life every day celebrating the fact that you woke up this morning. Because this earth realm is not an easy place to play. And the fact that any one of us is here right now is amazing. We, we could have just stayed on the other side in our happy little perfect bubbles where everything is grand and not so heavy. But we chose to come to like the ghetto of the universe. This is what I like to call it, the earth 3D realm. is like the ghetto of the universe. It's heavy. It's dark. It's hard, but the fact that you're even alive and willing to take a shot in this realm is something to be celebrated. So, yeah, you guys celebrate you and just know you guys are worth everything that you want in life. And the key to the biggest key to your healing would be to celebrate yourself. And to forgive yourself and others who have wronged you. And don't beat yourself up for all the mistakes you made. Because we all make mistakes. That's why we're here. If we wanted to be perfect, again, we wouldn't even have incarnated. So go you. you you're getting through it. So just keep going on the path of recovery, whatever that means for you. And, and you will be well on your way to healed. So I hope this resonated and thank you so much for checking this out. I really, really hope to see you back. All right. Thank you. Okay. Pile number two. What is it you need to heal? Okay. Group number two. What I'm seeing for you guys already is you don't feel worthy of 
things a lot of times. You don't feel like you deserve the best in life. With this abundance card, you almost turn things away because you don't feel like they're meant for you. And this appreciate everything and be honest with yourself. And I think you would really benefit from getting honest with yourself and looking within and realizing through meditation that you guys are perfect and worthy of anything and everything good in your life. And appreciate everything. The more gratitude you can have for the little things you have in life and the big things, the more you can realize that you do deserve the things in life that you want. Just the fact that you have a roof over your head, clean water, fresh food, a way to clean your clothing, you're already miles ahead of a lot of people in the world. And if you're someone who's in Western society or lives very well by those standards, we watch TV and want to do all these things other people are doing and have all these things other people have, but we don't realize how much we already do have just by being where we're at in life. And it's really beautiful. And a lot of times we don't celebrate those things because we're trying to strive for the next thing and buy a bigger this or a bigger that. And that's not what life's about. But we're taught from a really early age that a lot of us do define our, ourselves through the items that we have, how much money we have in our bank account, the kind of car we drive, the house we live in. That's how our society judges how worthy you are as a person. And I think a few of you, many of you actually, have had it hard. You had really humble beginnings and even some of you still struggle to make ends meet or just even if you can make ends meet, think that you deserve what you already have. But you guys, a lot of us, and you guys included, operate from this lack mentality. And the more you can appreciate these small things or big things in your life, and get honest with what it is you truly want, not what society tells you you want, that's when you will start healing that mindset and start attracting real material wealth and true prosperity into your life. It's so funny because the more we want something sometimes, the more we push it away. It's like we want something so bad, it just sends this message out into the universe that, oh, they want this thing so bad, but they want it so bad that it's like, you're not getting it because you're pushing it into the future, into the future, into the future. So if you can almost picture yourself with this thing that you want so bad, just picture yourself already having it and then releasing it, you'll bring it closer to yourself. And I think you guys really would heal and benefit from setting intentions. A lot of times we let life just kind of happen to us or all the things we have to do in our to-do list just run away with us and you would really benefit with keeping some sort of goal tracker where you can write your goals down and then not just have this huge goal that just seems like it's looming off in the distance, but start at that goal and then move backwards and break it down into steps that you for sure know you need to take to get there. And then a lot of times we don't know exactly what our next step is, but if you can pray or meditate about or even ask your angels, like, what is my next step? The answer will become clear to you. And it may come in a weird way. It may come through hearing the tail end of somebody's conversation or just this perfect speech of this monologue of this character on a TV show. You just never know how the information is going to come to you. So just be really alert. And also communication. I think a lot of you have a blocked throat chakra which I don't know if you know anything or much about chakras, but your throat chakra is that blue chakra, of course, at your throat. And if you have a blocked chakra, you may not know how to communicate what you need, or you may communicate things, but people don't want to hear it. You may communicate harshly or 
just too timidly that no one really takes you seriously and I think a lot of you could benefit from some throat chakra guided meditation just google or youtube um, throat chakra meditation how to unblock your throat chakra and I think you would really benefit from that on your healing journey and also I don't think a lot of you, but some of you have had debilitating health problems or an accident that maybe you did die or were really close to death at one point, but you're back. You came back and you're, you're still here with us, but some of you do have a chronic condition or a terminal condition even that you just feel so helpless with, but... The good news is your body can hear you. And I don't know if you know much about Dr. Emoto and his water crystal experiments, but we as humans are made up of anywhere between 60 to 80% water. It's a weird estimated number. No one knows the exact number. But somewhere in there, we're made up of a lot of water. And when we speak these things especially if we have some sort of illness that kind of runs our life we kind of start to identify with that illness and it kind of becomes our identity at times not saying that you're a victim or anything like that but for example if you have arthritis you're just always like oh I can't do that my my arthritis or this or that you, don't ha you are not your illness. You may have an illness, but that illness doesn't have you. And again, back to the Dr. Yamoto and the water experiments. He would speak loving words to certain water crystals and hateful words to others. And the ones that got the loving, positive words formed these most beautiful, intricate crystals. And the ones that he said negative things to were deformed and not beautiful just not very good looking crystals and so if we're constantly thinking negative things about ourselves or saying I'm sick I'm sick I'm sick I'm sick your body is going to make you sick and continue to keep you sick because that's what you're putting out but if you can start talking to the cells in your body and just say I'm healthy I'm living my best life you can really start to crack that subconscious mind because the higher you get your vibration, the less kinds of sicknesses can get through because when you're sick, your body's in a lower vibrational state. And you can even go, if you don't know what this stuff is, you can Google um, how to get into a high vibrational state. But you guys talk to your body, talk to your cells, and try to hack your subconscious. It's really hard, you know, if you don't believe in this stuff, it's really hard to get your mind on board if you don't believe in any of this stuff. But the best way to get around that is to just start researching things and just try to have an open mind because especially with a couple of these blockages with your abundance and your throat chakra, I think you guys can keep get that open mind and keep that open mind you would really benefit if you can just open yourself up and learn to be a magnet and attract the things that you want in your life and then you're well on your way to healing. So I think that's it for this. So I'm going to go ahead and do the treasure box word. Just close my eyes and search. Power. All right. Yeah, I think a lot of you be honest with yourself and the abundance. A lot of you have forgotten what powerful beings you are. Because we aren't just these humans in these meat suits. We are spirit incarnated. And we are each a piece of this infinite source that we call God, Allah, Krishna, whoever you identify as a deity or just the universe in general or source, whatever you want to call God, whatever God is to you. You are a piece of that God and you have the power to heal everything in your life. 
So don't for a second think that you're powerless to, even if you have an illness that is really hard to cure or has no cure, you're not powerless to that illness or life in general. You have the ability to take control of all of the different areas of your life that you want to heal. So yeah, I think that's all I'm getting for you guys. So thanks again so much for checking this out. And I really, really hope you guys, sorry about that group too. My video timed out because I was so long winded. So <laughs> the file was too big. So I don't think I cut much off, but it will end abruptly, I'm sure. But I'm really sorry about that. Um, just wanting to let you know, you guys, thank you so much for all your comments. And if this resonated, just let me know below in the comments what you thought and um, I really hope you come back. Okay, group number three. What needs healing in your life? Okay, group number three. It seems to me like you guys are kind of similar to group two in the fact that you don't always have this abundance mindset or think that you're worthy of the things that we all deserve in life. You are worthy, but you have this belief system where you're coming from lack. And a lot of you, I'm feeling too, with this new moon card, the inner self, a lot of you don't really know who you are outside of how you identify with different relationships. Like, I'm this person's wife, I'm this person's husband, I'm this person's sister, I'm this person's daughter, I'm this person's son, I'm an employee at this place. You identify with your job and who you are to other people, but I think a lot of you guys, but there are, actually, there are a few of you that are very in touch with that, but I would say the majority of this pile you guys, even still after all your spiritual journey and your journey through life, don't really know your true inner self. And a lot of you have fallen into some bad habits, not taking the best care of your health and your body even. And you just a lot of times expect the worst in situations, You're kind of a, has, a glass half empty kind of person at times. Not always, but especially when it's something you really, really want, your mind just automatically goes to that dark and scary space. Like, oh, I don't deserve that. But um, a lot of you need to get in touch with that inner authority, that peace of God, that spark of soul within you that is perfect and beautiful just the way they are. And I am seeing, you know, the screen light here and the screen light here. It's like you guys have this heart chakra. You guys are very loving people, but I think when it comes to yourself, you're not always as loving as you should be. So you guys could really benefit from, from some heart chakra meditation. You can look up on YouTube some guided heart chakra meditations and massage would really benefit. And I'm seeing also just other kinds of energy healing like Reiki. But a lot of you are coming from this place of lack. Maybe you didn't have the best family life growing up or you were always told you weren't worthy of the things that you want. So you started withholding yourself from yourself and from others. But this lady here, this card is the lady of the gift. Generosity, receiving, withholding. So it's like you guys are really generous and receiving with certain people, but really withholding from other people. And a lot of times I do think that includes yourself. But you would really heal and benefit from figuring out where the negative and bad habits are in your life and the things, and it, and it sounds so, so bad, but if you could just write down a list of all the things you don't really like about yourself and then start looking at the things on that list that are kind of surface level things like I'm overweight or I don't eat right or I drink too much coffee or I watch too much TV, I'm on social media too much. 
you know, the things like that that really aren't who you are, just the things you may do, that's your key to start really digging into your life and getting to the root of what needs healed because we can all change a bad habit. It's really hard sometimes, but if we just start with one thing and then we can start building on that. A problem a lot of us run into, especially around, you know, the first of the year when there's New Year's resolutions and all that, is we have all these grand ideas how I'm going to completely change my life and be this person I've always wanted to be. And we take on way too much, way too fast. So my biggest advice to you would just be pick the one habit, especially starting out, pick a habit you know you can easily conquer or overcome. You know, as an example, say you have been drinking three cups of coffee a day and you're just really like, you're not getting good sleep because you've had way too much coffee start by dialing that back to two cups a day or one cup a day. Start eliminating things slowly. Don't just cut off cold turkey unless you really think you can do that. And in that case, you are a badass because <laughs> a lot of people can't do that. Um, but if you can do that, go for it. But to really heal and make this something that's a permanent positive change in your life, I suggest just starting small and starting with those surface things that are easier to crack and conquer. Here with the synchronicity card, if you have been seeing repeating numbers, it would be good for you to look up what they mean. You can just Google angel number and then whatever number sequence you've been seeing because you can gain a lot of insight by looking into that. And I do feel like a lot of you have been seeing synchronistic numbers and also experiencing things where you hear something mentioned on a TV show and then the next day one of your friends is talking about it and then the next day you see it somewhere, you know, things like that where especially more than two times, you know, three or more times you see or hear the same thing. You're like, what? What is going on here? You can really gain some insight by looking into that. But here the, with this card, the situation is already resolved. I think a lot of you, and this probably does go back to childhood, had something happen in your life that really puts you into a dark place. And some of you are actually recently going through this thing, whether it was a death in the family or a breakup or something that really shook you and just made you almost feel like wanting to give up. The more you can get into that meditative state and really, you know, look within and look to God, you can start to figure out what it is that's not working in your life because it will start becoming really obvious. And it's funny here, I see this girl, you know, her head, her hands out and it's like she's blowing something out of her hand. And then you have the same thing here in this card. So what that's saying to me is take these negative things you don't like about yourself or just these negative thoughts or feelings or just picture anything that's not serving you. Take a deep breath, picture those negative things like a black cloud of smoke and just blow them out into the universe to be recycled. Um, and you can do that multiple times a day and it really does help you feel like a weight is lifting off your shoulders. Because I do think a lot of you guys do feel so heavy and almost dejected in some pla in some instances here. But yeah, and I think a lot of it has to do with your own self-worth and the way you look at yourself and then these negative habits that you have. And really getting in touch with that inner self is going to help you it's like the key that's going to unlock what's going on and keep your thoughts positive and expect positive outcomes because what we expect and what we think about is usually what we attract into our lives. So keep things positive. I think you would really start to heal if you can release toxic, you know, habits and people and foods that we know aren't good for us, situations, jobs, 
the more in alignment you can get with your true self and the things that bring you joy and happiness, the better off you'll be and the closer you'll get to being a healed human. I don't think we can, as human beings, ever be completely 100% healed because it's just pretty much impossible. But if you can get in touch with what needs healed, because a lot of us just feel heavy and dark and negative and we don't really know why. And it's not usually just one thing. It's a lot of little things that built up over time. So if you can get in touch with yourself and start to find the root cause of these things, that's when you can really unlock this healing that you will really benefit from. So, yeah. I think that's all for this, but I will get your treasure box word. Let's open this, close my eyes, and pick a card. <laughs> healing. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what we're trying to do here. So yeah, you guys, more than the other two piles, have probably more healing to do. But don't feel discouraged. Just really keep that positive mindset and do that heart chakra unblocking meditation if you can. And you will really benefit from that. So don't worry. Keep a positive mindset and just know that the really big problems in your life, the situation that caused these things is resolved and you can release it. And another cool meditation you could get um, benefit out of is if you look up cord cutting meditation. Because if there's a situation, an old job, a person, a relationship that is in your past that you just feel still feel like is affecting you, you can do a cord cutting meditation and literally cut the cords of that thing so it's not sucking the life out of you anymore. And you can start to heal and move on from that. So yeah, you guys, I think you have a long journey ahead of you, but don't be discouraged because along the way, you will just discover so many beautiful things about the world and especially about yourself. So if you can really dedicate yourselves to healing the things in your life that aren't resonating with you and that aren't in your highest good you're really gonna fly so I think that's it for you guys so thanks again so much for checking this out and leave me a comment below just letting me know if this resonated so yeah I really hope you come back and thanks so much for checking it out all right bye